Hey guys, today we're going to look at how to represent data. Sydney works at a local cookie shop. Let's look at her sales data. We'll take her nice sales data and we'll put it into a pretty frequency table. And now it looks a lot more mathy. Now we can take this mathy looking table and turn it into a picture graph. Picture graph's gonna have a title just like our table. It's gonna look a little bit like our table. We're gonna have the categories down the side. And then we're going to fill up the frequency, the number of cookies, with pictures instead of a number. So what kind of picture should we use? How about a cookie? That would make sense, right? So you see in the table that on Friday it says there's a hundred cookies. Well, let's just go ahead and put a hundred cookies next to Friday. So here's one, here's two, here's, wait a minute. If I put a hundred cookies here, first of all, it's going to take a long time and it's going to take up a ton of space. So get out of here, cookies. What we need to do is maybe make each cookie worth more than one cookie that would help us. So with the values of 100 and 125 and 75, if each cookie were to be 25 cookies, I think that would make things nice and pretty for us. Now, if I want to count 100 by 25s, I do 25, then 50, then 75, then 100. On Saturday, it's 125, so that's just one extra cookie. And then on Sunday, it's 75, so 20, 50, 75. And just like that, you've made a picture graph. Good job. Now let's take that data and let's make a bar graph. So same kind of thing here. We have our title and we have our graph area. Along the bottom, we're going to put our categories. And along the side, we're going to put the number of cookies. Now you can label the lines of this bar graph in ways that make sense to you. And for this example, I'm going to go ahead and mark the 50s and leave a spot in between. Those are going to be 25s. So if I want to fill up Friday to 100, that's easy, right? Then if I want to fill Saturday to 125, well, 125 is halfway between 100 and 150, right? And then lastly, on Sunday, I have 75, which is just three groups of 25, so I can raise my bar up three lines. Now it's your turn to try some problems.